Agroecology presents a number of benefits uh, that are now increasingly um, important. Uh, first of all, it reduces the dependency of farming on non-renewable -renew energies such as gas, oil, um, phosphates um, or nitrogen. Secondly, um, agroecology, which is a way to use nature and, its, uh, and, and using it as an ally rather than simplifying it and reducing it, is a way to reduce pollution. Um, thirdly, Agroecology has very important uh, benefits in its ability to contribute to reducing climate change. And, and fourth and finally, um, it's important to realize that um, um, from the nutritional point of view, agroecology has, has many benefits. So there are many reasons why agroecology today deserves to be more supported. We already see farmers are finding that agroecology is pretty much the best solution they have. So we think world leaders really need to get behind language, promoting agroecology, protecting soils in, in many different forums, both at national level and at international level. But we have to be really careful about not promoting rhetoric of climate smart agriculture. Even though climate smart agriculture is supposed to be about mitigation and adaptation and increasing yields. Unfortunately, the language has no definitions, no criteria, no exclusions. So industry is jumping on this language of climate smart agriculture and using it to promote uh, chemical fertilizers, which we know really damage soils and the atmosphere, increase climate change and make farmers more vulnerable uh, to climate change. Monsanto, McDonald's, uh, Syngenta, all the world's big corporations are now calling themselves climate smart agriculture too. So we need to stop using this language of climate smart agriculture, I'm afraid, and we need to find really specific language about agroecology to be clear about what we want and what we don't want. Soils are really important because they are the foundation of all our food production and we have to ensure that in the future we look at preserving and improving the state of our soils rather than allowing them to degrade. One of the key things is increasing the organic matter of soil and therefore also the living biomass of soil which is the engine for producing our crops. People for Soil is a network of 130 European NGOs, research institutes and farmers associations and what we are doing is promoting a European Citizens Initiative to be launched in 2016. We have one year to, to collect uh, the signatures and ask to European Commission for the acknowledgement of uh, soil and uh, the related ecosystem services as a common good. It is very important for uh, people in the soil movement, uh, politicians, activists, but also industry, to realize that you have to take a different approach if you want to involve youngsters. So be more visual, trust them, uh, but also let them make mistakes. Take them very seriously, seduce them with attitude because they need uh, attitude to uh, be aware that soil is important. Uh, and maybe they should be uh, in charge of making campaigns about soil uh, that have to attract young people. The good God knoweth, the dear God knoweth how to make it uh, and is passed on his secret to the family of earthworms. I vote for the completion of the saying by adding microorganisms to this. They are being, they are being kissed and awakened by the action of the worms, just like Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty in an edition of billions and billions. <coughs> the moment that a microbe has reached her final destination, she carries on for a period of time before once again falling into a deep and restful sleep until the next prince comes kissing me alone. <laughs>